Hi, boys and girls. Um, it's another day in writing. And so um, today I kind of want to show you something. I just wrote right on top of this anchor chart to show you um, to save paper, um, but also so you could kind of see what I'm talking about. So yesterday we continued our work in our opinion book. So we added the lead, right? And that was because if we just added things like this, my kids are getting big and need more room. I want room for my dog. I want to be able to pull my camper. Nobody really knows what we're talking about, okay? So we added the lead right here. I want a new SUV. We came right out and we said our opinion, right? So I'm going to write that up here at the top. And I drew this little weird looking shape because what it's supposed to be is a hamburger bun, okay? So you're going to kind of see why. So I'm going to write, it says new SUV up here, so I'm just going to kind of write right in here. I want a new SUV, okay? So that is my topic sentence or my lead that went on the first page, right? There it is. Then my next page shows one of the reasons why I want a new SUV. My kids are getting big and I need more room. Okay. The next page says another reason why I should have a new SUV. I want room for my dog, right? And then the third page shows my third reason. I want to be able to pull my camper, right? Well, we still have one more page left. That's this very last page. And if you notice, I drew a bottom to my hamburger bun, okay? And that is because in really good writing, your writing is sandwiched between two things. And it helps the reader, one, know what you're talking about. So you come right out and you say what you're talking about, and then you support it, or you give reasons why, okay? But then at the bottom, you remind them what you were talking about in the beginning, okay? So you're just kind of saying, oh yeah, this is what I was saying, okay? So one way you can do it is by saying, those are the reasons why I want a new SUV, or as you can see, I need an SUV, so there are a couple ways that you can add what we call a closing to your book, okay? Or you can even just say, I want an SUV. You could even say, I need an SUV. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Here I said, I want, at the bottom I'm gonna say, I need. Even though I don't really need it, I gave you some good reasons that, said, that could suggest maybe why I might need it, right? So I'm, and I'm writing it just kind of to be silly. I need, and I'm even going to be silly and write it in all capitals, because sometimes writers do that. I need a new SUV. Okay? I wrote it down there at the bottom. So I even need to go through and add that to the last page of my book. And that's what you're going to be doing at home. So let me write that right here. And then you're going to be adding a nice illustration to it, okay? Okay, so here I wrote, I need a new SUV, okay? Now, to kind of help you out a little bit, because we just listed a few different types of closings that you could use. So I think I'm gonna make a nice little small poster, let's see, just to save some paper, because I'm kind of starting to run out of paper here. I'm going to get and make just some examples of some leads, okay, that you could use. So let's put this here, or not leads, I mean closings. So let's talk about some closings that I said you could use. These are just some ideas, okay? Let's see, it's going to be kind of hard for me to, closings. These are some examples of some closings we could use, right? And I will let you pick which one you want to end, you know, in your book. <clears throat> so we could say, this would be one example. That is why I need, and then you would fill in whatever it is you need, right? 
or you could write, as you can see, I need, and whatever you need, or you could do like what Mrs. Kimmel did and just do, I need, and whatever you feel like it is you need. So let's practice trying these different leads out with my topic, right? Remember my topic is a new SUV. So I could say, that is why I need a new SUV. And I could have written that on my last page, right? So look, just listen to how that would have sounded. I want a new SUV. My kids are getting big and I need more room. I want room for my dog. I want to be able to pull my camper. That is why I need a camper. Doesn't that sound nice? It kind of flows together, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of just goes in order, right? So I could do that. Or I could have ended with, as you can see, I need a new uh, SUV. Or I could uh, straight up end with what I did, which is, I need a new SUV. So you pick one of these and add your topic or whatever it is you need to the end of it so that you can finish out your book, okay? So by the end of, the t of today, you should have all pages filled in with sentences and illustrations. Still haven't done the front yet. We actually still have several more things to add to this. You just might not know it yet, okay? So don't lose track. And for today, all you have to do is take a photo of this very last page, okay?